I think I'm going to paint this on my wall. Quote, we document everything. My response, so do I. That's what's going to start off this video. We're traveling to Frank, um, to Harding Hospital for my 23rd hospitalization in five years. Here you go. Everything on 911 is recorded and it's yeah. public record, so you don't have to worry about that. We document everything. No, you don't. Well, you should feel comfortable that it's double, triple documented then. You erase shit. So, why aren't the police following through on dealing with crime in the neighborhood? She has ruined my reputation. Defamation of character has occurred. And she's responsible. And you're doing nothing. That's what's going on. is not fair because if there is an investigation open you don't know what the what the fruits of that investigation are so as far as her slandering you that's a civil matter we don't handle civil matters you know that how would I know that first of all second of all yes you do all the time I don't, I, I don't take kindly to you saying that we're not doing our jobs. Unless you're there with the detectives or the officers that are actually handling your case, I don't think that's fair. There's never been a detective assigned to my case. Ever. Not even his own investigator. On anything. At all. You can see, I get treated like absolute fucking shit, and nobody ever addresses anything. At all. All you do is add more documentation. I respect to the email. Fuck that shit. I'm not mentally. There's nothing wrong with it. Except I've got neighbors that bitch and moan. And create documentation. Doing this 
shit. We're talking about millions of dollars.
guys have participated in running the money. What? For Patty Ryan? Have you met her yet? No, sir. You should. You should. Totally hear what she has to say. Because she'll listen to you if you have a star. That's everybody. She'll tell you. I suggested that they get the story from Patty Ryan. But I'm guessing that her story has now changed. And it's probably something like, oh, there was nobody. Or better yet, it was a joke. Who knows? Patty Ryan is so secretive. It's disgusting. And she's got evil written all over her face. That's what's happened so far. Because the police believe what she says. But my arrest record and my medical record prove that she's wrong. And the police won't be right. How sad is that? Do you know what that means? It means that she goes around town saying the lies with government backing. She's impersonating a federal officer. You're allowing that to happen by not addressing the problem. So you're willingly letting a citizen commit crime, federal crime. That's pretty much the deal. Patty asked for help from the police, and the police are making her liable of millions of dollars. So there's something that's not quite right. And I think it's because the police are involved with Arvid Ashby and the technology, and supposed to keep Patty in the dark, and not let her know. The, the guy is an imposter and a friend of Arvid's. That's what I think. You see, as long as Patty keeps believing, or at least saying, that the Secret Service came, that keeps Arvid and the police safe from liability. So I have a way to stop the silencing from happening, but Patty Ryan is too much of a bitch to help out.
There, I just informed the officer that the police were the ones that told me about a stalking case that was going to be in November of 2020, weeks before I got notice in the mail of it. So there's obviously some premeditation here. And they've done nothing. That's what the police always do for me. Nothing at all. So everything online is compromised. I have no privacy at all. He's probably the person using R&M as well. And I'm just a slave. And the police are complicit. The police allow it to happen because the police suck. They love doing crime because they can get away with it. I'm discussing how I find it ironic that a case can be presented with evidence of suspects and proof and the police simply ignore it, but then follow through with all these hospitalizations and they're worried about my health. They're not worried about my health. They're setting me up. Because that's what Patty said the government wants. And that is an imposter. And as long as Patty gets what she wants, it doesn't matter. She's willing to, to play along. She's a criminal. Stare and ignore. The police haven't done one thing for me, except bring misery into me. How do I get federal crime that's been reported has been deemed in miscellaneous incident reopened? Is there ever any chance, or is that just the end? Couldn't tell you. We don't deal with that. You'd have to ask the, the okay. county prosecutor because they deal with the federal prosecutor.
guys continue are doing this. And I don't know where it's coming from. But you, it's got to stop. Well, that's a question for the magistrate that hands up the legal order to be enforced. So you need to start there. I actually wrote an email to the probate stating that I thought that they were going, that the neighbors were going for something with the state of Ohio. They don't know the definition of harassment and don't think it's a crime because they do it. Why don't you do that? Did you go down and get a protection order? What's a protection order going to do? I need conversation. I need them to be honest with them because I found out that they were lied to and then told the lie. So I need you guys to meet you. Why don't you do that service for me? Yes, they are. The police don't want to fix the problem. They like the narrative that's being told. So Patty Ryan continually commits more crimes and liability for herself because she's dumb as fuck.
you get a bonus for that. And it's still happening. Somebody is calling places and being me. It's so fucked up. It's like I can feel the setup happening. And nobody does anything at all. Everybody's complicit in it. And this group of criminals is serious about fucking up my life. And nobody helps. And I'm pissed. <laughs> 